Look, just because I'm in shape now doesn't mean that I don't like a milkshake from time to time. So I wanna share with you one of my favorite milkshakes that I make here at home that doesn't even have ice cream in it. You see, it contains something called maca root powder, and maca root is a Peruvian root that has sort of a butterscotch taste, so it'll give this milkshake kind of a nutty sort of malt-like taste, almost like you're getting a malt milkshake. But the real power in this milkshake isn't the taste. It's the fact that maca has some tremendous properties when it comes to stimulating your endocrine system. Now, what this means is it's going to help out with hormone function, whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're trying to increase your testosterone levels, whether you're trying to help your ovaries out when it comes to fertility, whether you're trying to stimulate your thyroid, or whether you are even trying to just boost your adrenal glands a little bit, this little milkshake is gonna help you out tremendously. So rather than bore you with the details here before I start making the milkshake, I'm just gonna kinda explain as I go, because I want you to follow along, I want you to learn how easy it is to make this and how effective it can be if you make it right and drink it frequently. So let's dive in and get started on it. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to grab, of course, is gonna be your maca root powder. Now, generally, maca root is uh, sold in sort of a bag like this. Otherwise, you can find it in little smaller servings, or sometimes, if you're lucky, you can even get the actual root, which you're gonna to have to finely grind and kind of puree a little bit. But otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to get a powder. That's gonna be the main ingredient here. Now, I'm gonna use a blender, I'm gonna use a Vitamix, you can use a Blendtec, but really, you don't even need a super powerful blender. All you need is a blender that's gonna be able to crush up some ice. So I'm gonna take my maca root powder, and all I really need here is about two teaspoons. Now, you can get away with a lot less, but it is water soluble, so what that means is that whatever you don't use, your body's gonna excrete. So I'm gonna start with that much maca root powder. Now the next thing that I'm gonna grab is some coconut cream. Now the reason I'm gonna use coconut cream is because it's got a lot of fat in it. It's got a lot in the way of medium chain triglycerides, which are just gonna help a fat burning effect as well. So I usually get it in a can like so. Now I'm gonna pop this guy open. I'm gonna show you something pretty interesting with it because it's not like regular coconut milk. See, when we use coconut cream, also, I always like to use these cool little can openers that don't cut the lid, but they actually just remove the glue. Because that way, if I wanna save this later, I can put the can lid right back on. So that's pretty cool. So this is what this stuff looks like. It's almost like a thick, solid cream. It's like a, uh, more of a consistency of ice cream, really. And this is what's gonna give this milkshake sort of its creamy taste. Now, I'm gonna put quite a bit of that in. I'm gonna put, you know, probably about, uh, probably about a quarter cup of that. Now remember, this stuff is pretty caloric. It's definitely got a good amount of fat in it, so you don't wanna be going too crazy on it, but it definitely tastes good, and again, it's important to the recipe. So the next thing that I wanna add in there is gonna be some vanilla extract. Now, if you have pure vanilla bean, you can use that as well. I went to the store, and I was completely out of vanilla bean in pretty much all my local grocery stores. So I am going to go against the grain of something I normally believe in, uh, I'm gonna use some vanilla extract, which, you know, generally speaking, you can get organic, good, clean vanilla extract. I'm gonna use about half a teaspoon of that. Again, you can eyeball that depending how much vanilla you want. Now, additionally, I'm gonna add some stevia extract. You can use pure sugar, you can use honey, whatever you wanna use, I'm gonna use stevia, and I'm gonna add just a few drops of that. Stuff is pretty powerful, and I did another video on the difference between stevia and truvia, but basically, stevia is the extract of a leaf that is 200 times sweeter than sugar. So I'm gonna use about five or six drops here. And that's probably about the equivalent of three or four tablespoons of honey. Now then I'm gonna need almond milk. Again, I'm gonna eyeball the almond milk here. I'm gonna go for about probably a cup to a cup and a half. And then lastly, a little over a cup of ice. Again, you can change this depending on how much you want and how much you want it to be a slushy versus how much you want it to be really more of just an easy drink to get down. Now before I blend this all up, I wanna explain kind of the reason why we're using so much of the maca root. So basically, maca root is different from 
other kinds of hormone stimulating plants. So like you can use soy, you can use red clover extract if you're a female and you're trying to boost, uh, basically boost your estrogen function a little bit, help out with menopause. But the problem is, is that you're working on more of a hormone level. You're not working on what's called the axis. You're not working on the hypothalamus speaking with the pituitary. So the best way that I can explain this is rather than directly affecting the individual hormone source, you are actually helping the brain to stimulate the hormone source. So you're helping the brain out and basically telling it to tell each individual gland to start producing the accurate amounts of hormones that are needed. So those plant sterols that are in the maca root powder can do so many things when it comes to this. So that's why it's so important. So I'm gonna mix this guy up, put it on medium to start just to get the ice grinding. Okay, now that this looks all blended up, I'm gonna grab myself a cup. Now that is awesome. It may not be a Baskin Robbins milkshake, but for being something that's just a simple hormone boosting milkshake that you're making at home, it's definitely not half bad. You don't have to drink this every single day. Try drinking it once every two days, once every three days. And you're gonna slowly start to notice that over the course of a couple of weeks, you're gonna start to have a little bit more energy. You might have a little bit more libido, more sex drive. You might have a little bit more drive in general. You wanna to go to the gym a little bit more. That's the maca taking a solid effect on the hypothalamus pituitary axis. So I'll end this with a cool little tidbit of research that I found from the Whole World Botanicals Report back in 2007. What they basically found is that if you were using maca root powder as an alternative to hormone replacement therapy, it could be just as effective and a lot safer. Now, I'm not saying that if you're on any kind of hormone replacement therapy that you stop, because I'm not a doctor, I'm not gonna tell you to do that. But it was pretty interesting to see some science that showed that using maca root regularly actually helped level off those hormone levels in a very safe way that could be comparable to hormone replacement therapy for both men and women. So there you have it, a quick little milkshake you can make at home that's gonna boost your hormones, help your sex life, and make sure that you feel amazing. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.